Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. Today we are checking out a bite-sized little armor mod and that is going to be the Vault-Tec Security Armor by Essen Bros. This is going to be a new style of the Vault-Tec Security Armor that you can do a short little unmarked quest kind of scavenger hunt to find all the pieces and put it together and you get some really cool new Vault-Tec Armor with some customization so you can actually use it for other stuff as well. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. So, to get started with this mod, you're going to need to head to the Bridge of Sanctuary and go ahead and drop down and there will be a nice hidden little footlocker here. And that's going to give you all of the armor pieces for the new security armor. So, go ahead and grab all of those. So, whenever you first put the armor on after retrieving it from that crate, you'll notice it is pretty rusted and beat up. Now, this kind of makes sense because it's been sitting underwater for about 200 years. So to obtain the blueprints for upgrading the armor, you're going to need to head over to Vault 114. And in case you don't know it by number, this is where you find Nick Valentine and all of the Trigger Men. So head to the Overseer's office and in the front desk, you will see the Vault Tech prototype blueprint. We just grab that and now we can upgrade and add new materials to our Vault Tech armor. So once you've obtained those blueprints, you're going to head over to a chemistry station, not an armor station for once. You actually go to the chemistry station and there's some pretty interesting progression here. So First, you're going to start in the vault Tech A Light category. Now, this has a few options. First of all, you have different ways to craft the new vault Tech helmet. You can convert some of the old security helmets or even the Covenant security helmet, so that's pretty cool. And then we have two ways to craft each of the armor pieces. So one is from scratch, which is a good option just in case you want to add more of these to maybe your Vault 88 survivors. And then the other is to convert the old vault Tech armor that we found in that crate. Now, because I'm a collector, I'm going to keep that old armor just because why not? It can sit in my footlocker forever. And we're going to craft all the new ones from scratch. So we're going to craft our left arm, our right arm, our vest, left leg, and right leg. And then we already have a helmet. So now we have it. And that is the light armor. Now if you wanted to upgrade it, you can go to the medium armor. And this requires you to have the light armor. So you can't make the medium or heavy armor from scratch. You actually have to upgrade it, which is a pretty interesting system. So we take our light armor and we can craft the medium armor. And then we can't craft the heavy armor until we've also crafted the medium armor. So it's kind of a tier system here, which is pretty cool. Could be annoying to fit all of your settlers with heavy armor, but it's still pretty interesting and neat. And then all of these also have decals that you can apply to your vest. So that's cool. So here is a look at a full set of the completely refurbished light vault Tech armor. And I really like this. Having some arm pieces and leg pieces as opposed to just the helmet and vest from the vanilla game is pretty cool. And I really like the color scheme. It's nice with the bright yellow and blue, but it's a little bit dull. And I prefer that as opposed to the super vibrant yellow and blue normally seen in vault Tech stuff. And then here we have the medium armor. So a nice simple upgrade. The arms and legs look relatively the same, but now we have a nice armored chest piece and some shin guards. So looking pretty good keeping the same style just moving up the tiers like any of the vanilla armors and then finally here is the heavy vault tech armor this is perfect for your guy who's sitting right there at the vault entrance this thing is beefy keeping that same style just adding more and more armor plating i especially like the vault door inspired little cogs there on the shoulder pieces super cool and super unique and interesting so the light armor looks like something that would exist completely normally and then this looks like the soul survivors personalized tweak on the armor so i really like this one super cool one thing about the heavy armor i don't know if you could really see it but there is a little glass plating on the chest piece there that is uh just a nice little extra layer of protection so if you had your visor down your neck and face would both be covered so that's pretty cool too and if you take these armors to an armor workbench you actually do have some options so first is the standard um so first is the standard modifications, your light build, pocketed, braced, brawling, all that extra stuff that would normally be with a vanilla armor. But now there are also vault tech materials. Now these don't really give you a preview as to what they look like, but they each increase your resistances and they go from a basic to alloy, coating, polymer, and finally overseer. And each of these will actually change how the armor looks. So let's grab the chest piece so we can see it the best and we'll switch from basic to alloy. And here you will see it has changed the color. So instead of blue now, it's actually silver. It's made out of that alloy. So let's go ahead and take a look at what each of these materials look like really quick before we end it. So here we throw on the coating and this is still blue, except it looks like they might've removed some of the yellow accents and replace it with silver. Then we can try out the polymer 
which I'm guessing is going to be white. Nope, oh, it looks like that silver again, except I think we have some red mixed in there, which is pretty cool. So maybe for an institute style. And then finally, we have Overseer. We'll go ahead and throw that on. And that is a nice dark, dark blue with the vault Tech logo. And that one looks super cool. Really, really like that one. Kind of reminiscent of the older vault Tech style. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. And I hope you enjoyed the armor and want to try it for yourself. If you do, it'll be linked in the description as always. And go out there and support your mod authors. They work tirelessly to bring us amazing mods to make Fallout 4 more enjoyable. So do what you can, donate, endorse, anything to show your support. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe, all that stuff that gets us into the algorithm and gets more mod recommendations to the people that are looking for them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace!